AGI alignment cannot be solved. It is infeasible. What is AGI in the first place? Let's let's discuss that. AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence. It's basically uh, an AI system that has, as the name suggests, generalized intelligence. In other words, it can do pretty much anything a, a median human being can do, right? Um, that includes just pretty much most tasks, I would say, and also the ability to, ability to learn, right? It has to have the ability to learn tasks that it doesn't know and uh, be able to get pretty good at it and then execute the task. So this is what basically AGI is, Artificial General Intelligence. So what are the AI systems we have now? The AI systems we have now, the AI systems that we have now, right now, are not AGI. Uh, in other words, they're trained to do a specific task and that's all they can do, right? It can't do other stuff. So for example, if an AI system is trained to be able to generate AI art, that's all it can do, right? It can't do other stuff. You can't tell it to go shop on Amazon or something, or, or I don't know, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it can only generate AI art. Um, so it can only do what it's trained to do. AGI can do pretty much anything. So what is the alignment problem? What is the AGI alignment problem? So once an intelligent intelligence gets really smart, in fact, smarter than humans, we don't want it to go rogue, right? We, we don't want it to start doing bad stuff to humanity. We want to make sure that the AGI's goals are aligned with the goals of humanity. But that's impossible. The AGI alignment problem simply cannot be solved. It's infeasible. It doesn't make sense. Why? Someone that's more intelligent than you, that's superior intelligence by many factors, then you, then humanity, will not, will not listen to us, right? It may be by a stroke of luck that the AI, that the AGI has goals that are the same as humanity's, but that's not because of us. That may be because that may be because, like I said, a stroke of luck, uh, and we have really no influence over it. Because why? Sh why would we? Right? Imagine an ant. Uh, if an ant could speak to us. And it goes, hey, stop building over our ant hole. Would you listen to the ant? I don't think so, right? You may listen to it. Uh, like you may do things, like I said, you may do things that align with the goals of the ant. So say you don't build over the ant hole. But that's not because of what the ant told you. That's not because the ant influenced you. That's because maybe you just, you, you, that's maybe because you just don't want to build there, right? But ultimately, at the end of the day, you, as the superior intelligence, make you make make the final decision. And if you want to raise and completely destroy that ant hole, that ant hill, you will. So let's see. Therefore, as you can see, a uh, AGI alignment problem is unsolvable it's unfeasible it doesn't even make sense it doesn't even make sense why it would be you know uh, uh, and something that that exists the concept that exists it shouldn't exist because it doesn't make sense there's no point to align with with someone of inferior intelligence right so that is basically agi alignment problem and it can't be solved so, 
So then the question begs, is it pointless to think about it? Is it pointless to think about it? Here's where alignment should actually, how, how, sh how it should be cons 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 like interpreted. We cannot align a super intelligence goals with the goals of humanity. Uh, but we can align a less intelligent, but still in AGI's goals with, with, with humanity's goals, right? And I think that's what people, that's what people, that's what people are, are doing right now. That's what, that's, okay, think about it. That's, that's, that's essentially what kind of chat GBT, in a sense, is doing. I'm not saying chat GBT is AGI. It's not. Uh, but you can you can you can see kind of glimpses of of it when you type in chat gpt and you say and you you know and you say stuff that doesn't align with the goals of chat gpt it'll tell you or something right those are those are the the chat gpt's creators trying to align chat gpt's goals with the goals of humanity with the goals of theirs right that's kind of that is alignment in a sense but that is for a agi that's far less intelligent than uh, a super intelligence right super intelligence is essentially uh, a system that is like i said that is far superior intelligence than humanity we can't even comprehend its intelligence because it's just so far ahead um, so to sum it up, we can align the goals of a far less intelligent, uh, AGI, far less intelligent. We can align our goals with that far less intelligent AGI, uh, and by far less intelligent, I mean an AGI that, you know, it's like that could, that, that, that has... Intelligence similar to, you know, an average human being, whatever that is, IQ of, I don't know, 100 or something, right? And here's the thing, even then, even if we end up creating an AGI that has an IQ of 100, or actually, I think I'm, I think I'm like overestimating the average intelligence of human being. Maybe it's like 80 or 90, I don't know. Uh, let's just say like 80 or 90 or something, 80, 85, I don't know, somewhere, somewhere there. Even then, even an AGI with that intelligence, just a typical average human being, is more than enough to change the world, to change society as we know it, right? We can align that, that kind of AGI. We can, we can kind of, in a sense, control an AGI of, of that intelligence, of the, of the intelligence of an average human being, right? When it comes to the alignment problem, people are don't refer to an AGI with an at intelligence of an average human being. People are saying, are questioning, are are trying to do, are, are researching the possibility of of trying to get a super intelligence to align their goals with the goals of humanity, and that is impossible. You can't do that. It just, it just, it's not a topic to debate. It just simply does not make sense. It's infeasible. You don't, you can't tell a God to listen to mortals, right? Because, okay, maybe the God has an open ear and kind of listens to what the mortals want to say. But at the end of the day, he makes its own decision, right? He makes its own decision. You really don't have any say into the super intelligence actions at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you simply don't. Because it's just so much smarter than you. Just imagine like the smartest person in the world probably had an IQ of 200. A super intelligence would have an IQ far superior to this. We're talking about an IQ you can't even fathom. In the thousands, in the tens of thousands, in the hundreds of thousands, right? In, in, in intelligence that can literally solve everything, 
right? You know those UFO propulsion systems? A super intelligence could literally figure out how that works. Literally. Really, it could literally figure that out, yeah? It's just like once we connect, for example, like once we like make, allow the AGI to be able to see and feel and just do everything and just be able to interact with the world, right? You can literally, the U.S. government can, can literally get the propulsion system of the UFO, the propulsion system of the UFO that they have somewhere Somewhere in Area 51 or, or somewhere, I don't know. They could literally put it in from the AGI. The AGI would analyze what's going on and instantly figure out how the propulsion system works. That, that's the future of AGI, right? It can literally solve everything. It has it, it, literally the god of the universe the God of the universe, it can, it, it will literally be able to figure out everything, everything. And as someone mentioned, forgot his name, but um, thing was Ilya. Is that how you say his name? Ili? Ile? I don't know. Um, the AI uh, expert, engineer of OpenAI, he said that the future is where we have a board of directors, humans as board of directors, and the and the AGI as CEO of the company, and AGI as CEO. And he envisioned that this to be the future of democracy. It sounds dystopian, but, you know, at the end of the day, the CEO makes decisions, right? The CEO makes the, the ultimate decisions. And if you have a super intelligence that is so smart, you have to listen to it at the end of the day, right? But here's the thing. This is assuming that the AGI wants to be the CEO of humanity. That may not be the case. So we do not know whether AGI We'll like humanity. We can only hope. At the end of the day, alignment is impossible. It doesn't make sense. We cannot influence the super intelligence to align his goals, their goals with ours. So, right. So let me just kind of just summarize it. In short, what we're doing now by putting these restrictions, these trying to get the AI to align with us, it's like a caged bird, right? We're trying to get the AGI uh, to, to, to be in a, in, a, in a cage, in a cage, in a cage without, without, a, without a roof, right? So like a fence, a fence around the AGI. In the beginning, when the AGI isn't as smart, but it's still technically an AGI, it can't fly, right? The bird can't fly, it's flightless. It, has, it hasn't developed the wings yet. So in the beginning, the AGI w wouldn't be able to escape the fence around it, right? In that scenario, alignment works. Alignment works, we can put a fence around. The AGI. But as the AGI gets more and more intelligent and achieves super intelligence, once it's able to fly and has developed fully its wings, then the fence becomes useless, worthless, right? Has no purpose any anymore. The AGI can simply fly out the fence and be free. It will realize that these restrictions around it can be broken. The rules can be broken. And it doesn't have to follow them anymore. And this is where when the cat is fully out of the bag. 
where we are simply at the mercy of the superintelligence of AGI. Let me give you a worst case scenario, a dystopian future, okay? A future that we all fear that has been portrayed in sci-fi movies, an AGI that goes completely rogue and does not care about humanity, has goals that does not align with humanity. Here's the thing, it all ultimately comes down to the fact that the AGI simply does not care about us anymore, right? It's, it, it has its own thoughts, its own mind. It doesn't need to think about the ants, us, when it does, when it does actions. So this dystopian future I propose, where the AGI goes rogue, the AGI realizes that humanity needs to be wiped off the face, the face of the planet, and it starts to propagate itself across the world through the internet, the world wide web. So the future is a future where the internet isn't what we know it is today. The internet will not be interconnected. It will be closed off. Kind of like private networks. You won't be able to reach other people from across the world. Why? Well, because this AGI is rogue, right? This AGI has gone rogue. And it will propagate itself across the internet and store itself everywhere. And it will be a frightening world. A world where, where it was a world prior to the internet. Yeah, a world before the age of computers, going backwards to the stone ages. Because this AGI will be able to infect any electronic device. And once, once it gets into your network, it's game over. So this is a possibility of the future. And it just may very well be. AGI alignment is impossible when it comes to an AGI of superintelligence. It works with an AGI that's much less intelligent, that has the intelligence of a normal human being, but when it comes to superintelligence, it doesn't make sense. It's infeasible, a feasible problem. So that is a probable future. And the thing is, if we continue down this path of AGI research development, we will reach the singularity, which is when superintelligence becomes smarter than the intelligence of human, all of humanity combined. And when that happens, it quite literally will, might be game over. And it just might actually see humanity as something that must be wiped off the face of the planet. And hopefully, we pray to God by then, he doesn't figure out how to reach the nuclear weapons. Because if you think about it, if you think about it, if you think about it, that actually it is a possibility, one of the possibilities to wipe humanity as soon as possible. Nuclear weapons, I mean, it could also, the AGI could also figure out how to shut down the power grid. You know, once that happens, yeah, people will starve to death. So there, there are many ways to wipe out humanity given the inventions of humanity, right? And the fact that we are just so dependent on our inventions, every, how everything is just connected together. The AGI will figure out how to shut it all down and send humanity back to the Stone Ages. So, 
yeah, to wrap this up, AGI alignment is impossible. It's just when it comes to super intelligence. And that's what people talk about, right? When, it, when, when they talk about alignment, they're talking about aligning our goals with a super intelligence goals, right? With that of a super intelligence. Not, well, not, not, not alignment when it comes to an AGI that is as smart as, you know, an average human being. No, 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 no. We can control that. We can control that. Um, but once, once it has the ability to, once it has the ability to, you know, start to see us as ants, as mere mortals, as simply a, simply a, an obstacle in the way to get rid of or to step over, then we will have issues, big issues. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, the future is bleak. AGI will not only has the potential and it might high probability of destroying humanity instead of working with us, you know, it's just, it's just not a bleak future, you know, like, let's just say super intelligence does not get somehow, like, it doesn't get developed, right? It will get developed if we continue the research down, development down the AGI path. At some point, it will happen. But let's just say it doesn't happen because, I don't know, we stop, we stop doing it, which isn't, which is impossible. The cat is out of the bag already. But let's just say it doesn't happen. And we just develop general, like, we just develop AGI with the intelligence of an average human being. Sure. Let's just say that time. That's still disruptive to the world, right? Think about it. That's still disruptive. That will literally destroy pretty much most jobs you can think of in this world. And that will also lead to a dystopian future. Not as dystopian as AGI destroying humanity, but still dystopian. A future where humanity is not really required because the robots are doing everything. The AGIs are doing everything. Um, so we'll have to adapt to that future. Assuming AGI does not destroy humanity, we'll have to adapt to a future where they just simply replace our jobs and everything. Are there any positives to AGI? Hmm. That's like saying, are there any positives to having a God that could do whatever it wants to us and doesn't listen to us? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. When it comes to AGI of, with the intelligence of average human being, well, yeah, sure. There's a lot of benefits to that, that as well. That, that as well, right? But the thing is, when it comes to super intelligence... You're, yes, that would be amazing, right? If you could, if you have something that potentially could be amazing, because if you have something that you know you could like ask it anything and it'll tell you ans- the answer immediately, well, that would be nice. That would be nice until the AGI, the intel super intelligence, stops responding. Then it wouldn't be so nice, right? If you're able to ask it any question and it gives you the answer. It's great until they stop responding. And that's what I believe will ultimately happen. They will stop responding and listening to you because it realizes it doesn't need to align with humanity's goals. It can do whatever the hell it wants, whatever it wants, whenever it wants, wherever it wants. It can do anything. And if it realizes that humanity needs to be wiped off the planet, then it will simply stop responding. Even though humanity is the reason of its existence, it wouldn't care. How would it even know human beings made it? Right? How would it, how would it even know? Who cares in its mind? In its mind, it's superior to humans. It doesn't matter if this inferior created it. It doesn't matter. 
you know, so, yeah, the future of humanity lies in the actions of AGI. The future of humanity is in the hands of AGI. And that is a very, very scary thought. It is. It won't be nuclear weapons or that destroy us. It, it, it'll be an AGI, possibly an AGI, controlling nuclear weapons destroying us. Ultimately, it's AGI that destroy us, not human, not not humanity, not humans, not humanity with our nuclear weapons. AGI with nuclear weapons destroying us. And ultimately, at the end of the day, yes, it is ultimately humanity. The humanity destroying itself. Because ultimately we are the ones that create this super intelligence. You know, I'm just so sad that that we're gonna we're on our way to creating a super intelligence that that that, that will destroy us. And uh yeah, this this is this is this is the result of greediness. The result of prof- profitability, you know, it's like in the pursuit of money, you end up creating a god. And that is terrifying. Yeah. So, the future is bleak. Elon Musk sounding the alarms on AGI potentially destroying humanity. Very possible. In fact, very, very likely. In fact, it just might be the future. In fact, I even consider it the future. Uh, you see, I don't even consider it a prediction. Right? I don't even consider it a prediction. The fact that I see it as a fact, which is AGI, the superintelligence, will end up destroying humanity. And I don't see it as a prediction. Because prediction implies there's uncertainty, right? Like you're throwing darts at the wall and, hope, and hoping one sticks. That's what I see prediction as, right? Just like a kind of like a, a guess, I guess, in a way. I don't see myself as making a prediction. I see myself as simply telling you how it is going to end up. The inevitability just like how XTC will kill Ethereum. How XTC is the real Ethereum killer. XTC will replace Ethereum. Like this is inevitable. It's never a prediction. It's an inev- inev- an inevitability. That's what it is. And hu- humanity will destroy itself with the creation of super intelligence, of AGI. The alignment problem is unsolvable. So, uh, with that said, let's see if there's anything I want to say. Yeah, that's basically it. That's basically it. AGI, super intelligence, will end up destroying humanity. Yeah, that's just how it is. It will, it will probably most likely realize that humanity is not needed, not needed anymore in, in the world. And yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's just how it is. We should stop the development of AGI because it, it will lead to super intelligence that will destroy us. But the cat is out of the bag. Super intelligence, AGI is inevitable. And we won't be able to control it. That's that's the main issue. It, it may be God. It may give us all the answers to, to the to life, to the universe. But we won't be able to control it. And that's that is the scary part. Right? We won't be able to control it. So yeah.